Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's Monday Night Insight, Omega Insight. This is October 26th, of course, 2020. Tonight's topic is about um, levels of awareness. It's actually levels of self-awareness. Um, before I discuss that, I want to talk to you a little bit about the differences between um, conscious and unconscious and our behaviors and our thoughts. Of course, our thinking is derived by um, what we see and what we hear. I look out, I listen, and I think, oh, okay, Th that's how I have a thought. Our behavior, sometimes our behavior is driven by our emotions. And when I'm driven by my emotions and I'm unaware of how I'm showing up, that's what we call unconscious. Um, it's more of a reactive state. I'm not aware of what I'm doing, I'm just reacting. When I am conscious, that's when I think and I choose how I'm going to act. Now, I know this sounds complicated, but we often talk about this in the classroom. If you've ever driven somewhere, whether you're going to work or your parents' house or the grocery store, have you ever driven to a location and when you arrive, you realize you haven't been paying attention to driving because your mind is off thinking someplace else, but yet you actually arrived safely at your location. That's being unconscious. You're operating but you're not there's nobody in the driver's seat <laughs> essentially so what our what we strive for in omega is self-awareness how can i be aware of the things that i'm doing sometimes we're not even aware of our thoughts we would just be rambling i remember an exercise we used to have to do was to stop at that moment and begin to trace back our thinking and what we thought about as far as we can go. If you can think about what you thought about just this previous thought and then the one before that, the one before that. And the concept is, is to be able to link your thinking, but most people can't do it because we have so many thoughts going on through our minds and we're unaware at times as well. So here's the concept. I want to become aware of my behavior before I react. Now, as I introduced last Friday, talking about a coworker and how I've had interactions with this individual before, and this person, they're manipulative, they lie, they're not trustworthy an in individual. So I already have, uh, or I know I'm aware of that, but, but let's say I wasn't. So here I am having a reaction. So the seven levels, what we want to talk about is how do I go from being reactive and unconscious to conscious and unreactive or just active, choosing instead of reacting. That's the idea. So the first level, the first level is this is a natural easy one. I'm unaware of what I'm doing. Some of my behavior is out there. I'm actually being led my, my behavior. I'm reacting having a conversation I'm react and then I'm unaware that I'm reacting even if somebody calls me out on it I'm like no I didn't if someone were to say you know you sound a little harsh no I wasn't <laughs> have you ever said that <laughs> so that's a good idea of being unconscious and unaware of being unconscious level two the second level of awareness is I'm reacting I'm unaware that I reacted but somebody gives me feedback and Upon thinking of their feedback, I go, oh, you know, you're right. I, I think I was reactive. So now I'm starting to recognize that I was, uh, what my behavior was doing. That's the second step. I become aware because somebody gave me feedback. The third step, the third step of awareness is when I'm reacting, but after I'm done reacting, I'm the one who says, oh, geez, I shouldn't have said that or I shouldn't have had it that maybe I could have said that in a different manner I don't need external feedback because now I'm beginning to give myself feedback I become aware of what I was doing so that's the first three steps now those are the lower levels I'm just gonna call them the lower levels in Omega we like to introduce the idea that there's the different levels and and the fourth level is usually the middle if I have three lower I have three higher and the fourth is where I make that transition so those three levels that I just described, these are levels of unawareness. 
So I'm reacting and I'm unaware that I'm reacting. I'm reacting. I'm unaware. Somebody gives me feedback and I, oh, yeah, I think you're right. And the third one, I react and then I give myself feedback. I don't need external feedback. I think, oh, I could have said that differently. I could have handled that differently. Those are levels of awareness. Now, some of us are very happy that we get to that place. Oh, I'm aware I could have handled that. Wow, I'm, I'm doing a good job. <laughs> well, yes, you are, but there's more to go. So the fourth level, this is where I'd like to say we um, start to have a shift in our a behavior and awareness. So in other words, my thinking becomes the forefront instead of my behavior. I start contemplating before I actually show up. So here's what happens. In the fourth level, I'm reacting, but in the middle of my reacting, I become aware that I'm reacting. I have this like aha moment. Now, some of us, when we have that aha moment, we continue reacting, but perhaps maybe we drop down the level of emotion. We may not be so agitated. We might just reel it in a little bit and, and kind of bring it to a close. And there's some people when they're reacting and they become aware that they're reacting, they think, oh, you know, let me just stop and rephrase this. And we stop right there in the middle. So somehow our thinking has captured our attention of our behavior and it drew us in and now I became aware of what my behavior was doing. This is the bridge, as I said. That's where all of a sudden my emotions are not running me anymore. My thought process has kicked in. And this is where we wanna to go to. I know a lot of people connect emotions with love and compassion. Well, that's feelings and there are different levels of vibrations and that's a whole different topic that I don't want to get into. What I'm talking about is the raw emotion, that reactive and it's fiery and negative. Let's just call it negative. That's what I want to pull myself back from. I want to be able to proceed forward with a higher level of Emotion and behavior is the best way I can describe that. So here's what it would look like. If I go to the fifth level now, if I move myself up to the fifth level, this is when I am, let's say I'm having a conversation with my coworker and I'm getting all angry and upset and I'm aware that I'm angry and upset. I'm, and I'm knowing that I'm angry and upset and I choose to do it anyway. I'm choosing, but I was, I was aware first and then I'm choosing. So the thought is leading, but I give into the, or maybe because it's comfortable, I'm used to it, or they push my buttons. It doesn't matter what the idea is, but the, the, the level that I'm talking about, I'm aware and I proceed forward. Naturally, number six, the sixth level would be, I'm aware and I don't proceed forward. Or, nope, I'm not gonna say it, and I, and I remain calm. Now, here's where a lot of people stop. They think they've mastered themselves. Oh, I've mastered myself because I have that upset and I don't say anything. But the thing is, it still existed within me. So even though I didn't say it, I still had the effect of it. It still affected my body. So just like a nightmare. When you wake up from a nightmare, it never happened. It was all in my mind, yet I'm still having that physical reaction. Some people are agitated or stressful or panicked when they wake up or, or they're having a hard time breathing. Again, the nightmare never happened. It was just a manifestation in my brain. So let's go back to the level six. Even though I didn't express that negative reaction, it still existed within me. So my body still had that stress. Now, it may not be as stressful as if I actually did fully engage, but it still affected me. So naturally, number seven, the seventh level, what I really wish to gain is to be able to have an awareness that I don't react. So I could be engaging in a coworker, with a coworker, having a conversation, knowing this is the person who manipulates and they're disrespectful and they're rude and they lie, and yet I don't react to it. When I know that they're having that experience and I don't join in, I don't let my behavior run and I don't even have the thought process. It's not even there. 
It's like I can sit here and allow you to have the space that you're in and let you have the, the experience that you're experiencing and not take it in, not be drawn into the drama. I know that's a, a phrase often people use. I'm drawn into the drama. The concept is, is not to be drawn into that drama. It's to be able to sit here and let you have your space, let you express yourself and not have any reaction internally, to be able to have that inner peace. Now, through the years, people have challenged me on this and said, oh, that means you're apathetic. You're not, you're not taking a stand. You're not, well, no, 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 no. What it really comes down to is instead of apathy, which means you don't have any energy towards anything, what I'm doing is manifesting an energy of compassion an energy of love. In other words, you could be upset, screaming and yelling, whatever you want, and I can still manifest love for you. I could still manifest compassion for you. That's where I have the ability to say, well, there to you go I. I can stand in your shoes. I totally understand what you're upset. Even though I might have a different opinion, I can understand where you're coming from. That's the concept. This is where I want to get to. I want to bring my level of awareness to a place where my emotions are not ruling me, where I'm not like doing that. I know I'm doing that, but you understand what I mean. The idea is, the concept is I want to be able to reach a place that no matter who stands before me, no matter what is said to me, I am not budged. I can maintain this inner core of compassion, this inner core of love, acceptance. And when I get to that place, I become a light, um, a light in the darkness. I know I, I've talked about this before. I can evoke an emotion of love in an angry situation. I can evoke an emotion or a energy of compassion no matter what's happening around me. I can be a peaceful individual and not let outside events affect my inner state of being. That's the concept. That's where I really want to get to. I want to get to a place where I rise above my emotions. Now in Omega, you know, we talk about there's the physical level, then there's the emotional level, and then there's the mental level. So that my thoughts are higher than my emotions. And of course, the spirit is much higher than that. Through my thinking, I can attain closer connection to the spirit, the spiritual aspect of me, the part of me that understands and knows acceptance, unconditional love. That's what I want to do is I want to reach that. So I must transcend through my thinking to get to the spiritual nature of me. When I tap into that spiritual nature than me, that increases my vapor, my vibrations. So the emotions, even though it has a lot of energy, is really a lower vibration than my thinking. Now I'm not saying left brain, right brain, please don't get that confused. What I'm considering or proposing is the idea that my thoughts, when my thoughts are in front of my emotions and I, and I empower my thoughts with my emotions, I become quite powerful. So if I put that emotional and channel it into being compassionate, channel my thoughts into being um, love, acceptance, then I have a greater chance of connecting and vibrating, increasing my vibrations higher. And that's what we want to do. You know, I've, I've been trepidatious of getting on with all that's going on out in the world today. And I, and I've reached out a couple of times speaking about being a light in the darkness, increasing our vibrations, because that's really what I have control over. I cannot control what this political party is doing or what that political party is doing. I cannot control, I can't even control my children. <laughs> Although I'd like to say I can control my husband. We're just going to leave it at that. <laughs> the only one that I can be in control of is me. And if I'm aware of that, the question I have to ask myself is, how do I wish to be seen? How do I want to show up? What type of energy do I want to put out into the world? 
and naturally for me, the energy that I would like is to be of a high vibration of acceptance and compassion. And of course, unconditional love. Nothing is required. So those are the seven levels that I wanted to present to you. Again, I had this like mind-blowing experience last week when I recognized that I was letting somebody else take over and bring me forward. So Charlie's asking great points, but many times there's a great deal of forgiveness work for ourselves and others. Absolutely. When I get into the idea of I have to accept, acceptance and forgiveness go hand in hand. And of course, in Omega, what we talk about is forgiveness means to give for, meaning Greek terminology, to give. So I would be able to give to the individual that I um, have pain or caused pain, and that could be me as well as the individual that's in front of me. So yes, forgiveness ties into that as well. So with me, again, the final thing that I want to mention is th the ability to be able to rise my levels of, of reaction through my levels of awareness to become aware before I react and eventually reach a place where I no longer have the need or the desire to react. That I would choose, choose every moment to be in the present moment and to be a beacon of light. So thank you for joining me this evening. I appreciate it. And thank you, I see all the people that are joining in. Dave and Linda, I see you as well. So thank you again for showing up. I look forward to seeing you on Thursday when we are going to have a Zoom. And then this way you can join in and we can check in and see how you guys have been doing. The Zoom link has been created and I think it'll be um, on Facebook probably by tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening. Enjoy your levels of awareness. <laughs> Bye now.